Ella loves to create. She's super inventive, super imaginative. In the fall of, of 2019, she just started to get sick a lot. She started to get very lethargic and became very pale. At that time, she was 14 months old. Ella was diagnosed with a very high-risk acute myeloid leukemia. The chance of survival is less than 20%. It's pretty much a death sentence for a very young child. I remember her very specifically saying, very difficult to treat, and I'm so sorry. It was like living in a waking nightmare. We started to talk about the treatment and that she would go through several rounds of chemotherapy, but that she would need a stem cell transplant if she made it that far. Ella got hit by the chemo, she was down. But we were fortunate in that she responded. We started to research different transplant centers across the country. Dr. Chowdhury was unique. We felt very comfortable and confident in her particular team. Most of these patients given this diagnosis do not respond to chemotherapy. Most of these patients relapse. Transplant is the only curative option. What we need to do with stem cell transplant is essentially transplant the immune system to get rid of those cancer cells so that they don't come back. Eurechorins has been instrumental in innovative research. We presented to them the reduced toxicity approach that we had developed here at Lurie Children's. When a patient with leukemia is deemed eligible for transplantation, a normal routine is to give bone marrow cells as the stem cell source. In her case, she would get the best benefit from a peripheral blood stem cell. The data was showing slightly better outcomes with peripheral blood versus bone marrow. No one else is gonna do it that way. You can't do transplant without a donor. Both of her siblings were not a match to her. We were able to find a perfectly matched donor in the registry. Cody participated in a drive where he was going to college. He was committed from like that first phone call. We were putting so much hope into that, into that little bag. And I remember one day, like, she was lifting her head and playing in her bed, and it was this, like, monumental moment. It's Cody! He gave me his blood. He saved my life. He's still so connected with Ella. She got to be a flower girl in Cody's wedding. What a perfect way to describe how far we've come. Organizations like Children's Research Fund help keep us on the edge of what's new and coming through the pipeline in stem cell transplant and cellular therapy that can give us different options for our patients, giving them the best chance at cure. With this mutation that Ella has, she's the longest survivor that anybody is aware of. And it's because of research. These doctors are working together against really tough odds to find something better for these kids. How do you express your feelings and gratitude to a person who saved your daughter's life? That's impossible. Do you realize the impact you've had on us? Mm -hmm.